We want lower taxes, bigger paychecks, and more jobs for American truckers and for American workers. It's happening. President Trump pitching his tax plan last night as a boost for truckers, saying, quote, America first means putting American truckers first. Uh, H.R. Yoel, President Calvin Yoel, was in attendance last night. In fact, uh, he got a shout out from the president himself. <laughs> uh, Calvin, welcome to the show. Yep. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about uh, the president's tax plan. Uh, uh, particularly, he focused on you and your son with respect to the, to the notion that you uh, would love to be able to pass your, your business on to your son without being penalized for success and being taxed yet again, despite the fact you and your business are taxed as you are alive with a death penalty. Right. Yeah, he's pushing for the elimination of the state tax or what everybody knows it as, the death tax. I'm second generation. My son would be third generation. I worked through some tedious times uh, transferring it from my father to myself, and it would be a blessing and it's well overdue if he could change that, that I could pass it to my children with a lot more ease. Let's talk also about the, uh, the overall implications of uh, President Trump's tax policy. I know the publicly traded truckers in your business, J.B. Hunt, Knight Transportation, and some of the others, they pay an effective tax rate of 38%. I mean, what would it mean if these small businesses, because 90 percent of these truck companies are small businesses, 10, 10 trucks or less, if they actually were able to get a much right. lower tax rate? What would that mean for your business and for jobs? Yeah, we would uh, be able to put money, more money back into our equipment, invest in new technologies, safer technologies, increase driver wages. And uh, we're very busy these days. It will help drive the economy because the trucking is what sort of leads the economy. Trucking is the lifeblood of our economy, to President Trump's point. I do want to ask you, on a regulatory side, you've got a big ELD, this, this sort of monitoring system coming up. A lot of people in your business are pushing back. Yes. Are you concerned about encroaching regulations hurting you guys? Do you need more freedom to do your business? As far as ELDs, I don't see that being a problem. We're equipped with ELDs. Uh, as long as you're following the rules, the regulations, ELDs are no problem. It's just recording it electronically in lieu of paper logs, which people have used since 1938. So it's time to move up to the 21st century. And speaking, go electronic and spe Calvin, speaking and of the record. 21st century, because we're running out of time, the infrastructure plan. Uh, new roads, how would yep. that help? Because obviously, I, listen, I had to change my car for a Jeep to drive on the roads in New York City. I know it must be hell <laughs> on, on trucks going across country. Yeah, we need a better infrastructure so we can transverse the great United States here to get our goods to and from market. Uh, downtime, delay time, there's thousands, hundreds of thousands of hours lost per year just in, in uh in work stoppage yeah. because of delays and stuff on the highways. Calvin Yule, thank you very much and congratulations.